Hola! It is Saturday. Today is April 24th, 2021. I'm making and posting this video later than I usually do just because I had a busy morning. I hope you had a good week. I hope that uh, everything is going well for you. just want to talk about one little quick thing and I have a question to ask you how do you wait how do you wait when you're waiting for God to answer your question when you're waiting for God to manifest the promise he's given you or made you when you're waiting for God to do something for you to open up a door, to close a door, to bring a divine connection, to order your next step. How do you wait? How do you wait? Excuse me. Um, I'm in the waiting room. <laughs> and, you know, there's some TV shows that I'm sure we've all watched or we've seen a waiting room scenes and you have emotions that run the gamut from extremely happy and excited because someone's expecting a baby to be born to people who are nervous and upset because their loved one's having some kind of major surgery or procedure. And, you know, sometimes the prognosis is not good. Sometimes the odds of them going through the surgery successfully are slim to none. So that's a natural waiting room, you know. We've all seen like I said shows or even sometimes been in waiting rooms ourselves but the waiting room is a place where you can sit and wait and worry and meditate and on negative thoughts or you can choose to believe the best and pray and just expect a good outcome I'm in the waiting room proverbially speaking waiting for some things to change and to manifest and it has not been an easy experience it's been a very trying experience it's been um, in some ways nerve-wracking frustrating hurtful painful it's been many things but waiting and being in the waiting room um, that kind of has the effect that um, putting a warm compress on a boil can have. So whatever is in there is coming out. You know, if you're impatient, if you're hot-tempered, if you're easily angered, if you're frustrated, if you're distrusting of God, like whatever your mindset is, it's coming out. And... um it's a great way to deal with your stuff. Great time to deal with your stuff. So if while you're in your waiting room, you find yourself having a tantrum, <laughs> throwing a fit, wondering if God's going to do what he said, just, you know, like I said, going through all those emotions, that's a great time to deal with it. My waiting room experience has caused some things to come to the surface but ultimately what's happening is God's healing me and helping me to learn how to trust him in a different way so take that with you take that tidbit and just just wait gracefully and patiently you know, the waiting room is a place where you have to wait. But what makes the waiting room, um, I guess I'll say this, the way you view the waiting room has everything to do with how you wait. So wait with expectation, wait with a good attitude. And whatever yucky stuff comes to the surface, work it out. All right, that's all I've got for today. 
I hope that you have a great weekend. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I hope you take some time to get some rest. And um, just remember, God is with you. He's with you. He's with you. He's with you. And he loves you. No matter what it looks like, and I'm talking to me right now, no matter what it looks like, God is in control. He's in control. And he will not be mocked. He won't be mocked. So trust him. All right, got to go. I will talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, I will see you. I'll see you in the next video. All right? Now you're not looking at my face right now, but it's okay. The most important thing is what's being said, not necessarily seeing a face. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. <gasps>